So here it is, the grand introduction to what I had been hoping for and saving for a long time. My first sniping attempt on Call of Duty Black Ops way back in November when the snipers still sucked ass. Now, of course, I didn't really care about that at the time. As you see, it's a freaking L96 with an ACOG and an extended mag. And I'm going to try to make something work here. And this actually isn't the game I was talking about because in my last Road Commander that you know I talked about, I was like, yes, like the next game is the sniping game. And you guys are going to love this. Um, as you can see by the length, uh, this is a double upload. And that game turns out to be the second game. So I was even surprised. I, I just put this up on the Windows Movie Maker and it turns out both of these are sniping games. So I'm like, oh, well... What do you know? And then I fast forwarded and found out why there's two because the first one I do absolutely awful. Katie wise, I'm fine, but I like camp snipe or something. Speaking of camping, that guy behind the desk, grow a pair. Jeez, get out in the field, get out on the streets, pedal your crack, shoot your bitches, and uh, do all that fun stuff that gets you kills, gets you your streaks. I wonder what a pimp's kill streaks would be like. Like uh, four kill streak, press for hydraulic lift in car. You can squash your enemies. You can run them over. Um, uh, what else? Uh, seven kill streak. Like, if any of you know the old James Bond movies, Odd Job, get Odd Job's pimp hat. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Odd Job was a henchman in I think the Bond movie Goldfinger, and his hat had a razor blade in the brim, and it allowed him to decapitate statues. So, yeah, how awesome would that be? Instead of a tomahawk, I'm just going to whip my hat at you. And, hey, is that my first sniper kill? I think it is. And there will be plenty more to come in the second video. But, as always, don't want to talk about the video. I want to be talking about why I can't upload as many anymore. I had work today, and it was shitty as it could ever be. Let me tell you a little about it. So, oh wow, nice triple feed right there. Okay, so, my dad came home last week, told me about a possible job. Because I have been looking for one since the winter, and had no luck at all, because 12 places didn't even call me back. The one place that did get back to me was a Target. And it was just one of those generic emails saying, we're sorry, we're not looking for any help at this time. But my dad did uh, go to work one day and asked if I could get a job there. So I started yesterday. And uh, yesterday wasn't so bad. It is it is a factory. It's out like maybe a half hour drive in the morning. On the way back, it's a little longer because of traffic from rush hour. But I have to get up at... I feel Hostile like RCRC people who work aren't going to think I'm exaggerating, but my kid, the kid viewers might, like the teenagers and stuff. The people that don't have jobs, basically. I wake up at 6 in the morning every day now. Well, every day. It's only been two days. But, you know, for the next six weeks, I'm going to be waking up at 6 in the morning every day. Out of my house by... 6.45, something like that. Get to work at 6... Uh, no. Get to work at like 7.30, something like that. Start my shift at quarter to 8. And I'm out by... Oh, you, you druggies are going to like this. The end of my shift is 4.20. Yeah. How's that? <laughs> how, how sick would you like to be... How sick would it be if you were a druggie and you're just like, Oh, 4.20, quitting time! Oh, time to roll, roll giant. 420. You're just like running out the door yeah, screaming, 420. It's 420. Imagine when the, the date is 420 and you're like, it's actually 420 and you get out at 420 in the afternoon. So it's like, yeah, massive drug fest in the, in the parking lot. Sure, that might cost you your job, but man, think of the high. Oh, man. So, as you see in the first video, I didn't really do that hot. I went 7 and 3, but the next game is the game that I was exaggerating about for a long time. So, 
without further ado after this kill cam did I get both of them yes I did wow a double kill cam I'm on TV so without further ado here it is the sniping game so now let's delve deeper into the topic of my work I work in a factory among many, many Hispanic people, and five years of Spanish is barely coming in handy due to the fact that I missed last year in saying that, like, I didn't take Spanish last year, I took Spanish the year before, and every year before that, starting from seventh grade, so. Seventh through eleventh grade, if I had had that job last year, I probably would have been fine. You know, I could understand the the Spanish speakers perfectly fine now a year removed oh god it's like it's like dropping yourself off in Japan and trying to ask where like the bathroom is it's like like even though I didn't ask that it's just an example it's just like uh it's like where's the bathroom I didn't hear I okay yeah but where's the bathroom all right, yeah. So that's pretty much the situation I'm in. At Enemy least above. I was fortunate enough. Like my first day, I got paired up with uh, one kid. Actually, it was funny. The first day I walked in, and uh, I was told that like I would have to fill out my application there because like I knew I already had the job. They just needed the application to be on file. So I filled it out. And before I filled it out, this other kid walked in. And I found out after like 20 minutes of silence, we finally made an awkward comment that like uh, got us talking. So it turns out the kid's 14. He's from if you're from Long Island, uh, I don't know how many of my subs are, but he's from Bay Shore. Uh, and turns out his other brother, who, his brother who is also 14 years old, has been working there for about a week now. So now it's like his turn. And uh, turns out. They ended up working in the same department, and I ended up working in the same department as them. And the kid whose brother was working there for the last week is my station partner. So at least it's great that right off the bat I know about two kids that already speak English. You know, we we walk in in the morning together, we high five, we go to work. Um, the kid that was in the room with me is is like on the other side of the room. Me and his brother are at the same table. But let me tell you, you know, people who say that, like, having a job is better than not having a job, they never had my job. And let me tell you why. Because I spent, between yesterday and today, I probably spent about eight or nine hours um, shoveling nuts into boxes and then packing the boxes and then putting them onto, like, um... What is it called? Like, I don't want to use, like, the real word because some people wouldn't know what that is. But it's like a like a thing of 2x4s um, on the bottom of the floor. And they're, like, almost like the top of a crate. But, like, it's, it rises up off the floor. And you just put a piece of cardboard down to uh, eliminate the gaps so nothing falls through. And then you put the boxes on top. And then machines come around once the real technical word for it is a pallet. So once the pallet's done, which in our case was about 90 boxes, um, a machine would come around, they would hook up with like almost like a forklift, they would hook into the bottom of the uh, pallet, and then they'd pick it up and they'd send it over to uh, the wrapping area. But I think today was better work-wise and feel-wise, to yesterday because yesterday <laughs> it just started off so bad I mean first I got put in the wrong department as I was told they told me I was like my dad told me you're gonna be in production under this guy I'll use my real boss's names so they won't care uh, because I like them um, so he's like you're gonna be working in production and your boss's name is gonna be Jerry so I'm like okay cool but when I get there um, I get put in in robing which is like right next to production and my boss's name was going to be Rochendo, and he didn't even look Nepal like that sounds Hispanic, but he didn't look Hispanic at all. He looked he looked English, you know, like, 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 like American. 
and uh, you know English I'm I'm guessing was his like first language but he was he was speaking to me and then yell over his shoulder something rapid in Spanish like bang 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 and everybody in the room was like oh my god it was like a freaking ghetto like everybody in the room I'm not trying to be racist or anything but like everybody in the room is Hispanic and he puts me with this one guy, Julio, and he's like, Julio, show this guy, you know, what to do and stuff. So he's showing me all this shit. I can barely understand him because he's speaking broken English. And he, he's like, he's like, oh, okay, here, here's Jack. This is, uh, and it's not Jack like a person, it's a machine. It's it's the thing that you use to lift the pallets with. So he's like, he, here's a Jack we, we keep here. And he's like showing me how to like pick stuff up with it and stuff, and I got it pretty quick, I mean, it, it's, there's nothing to it, you just put the forklift end in, and you, like, push the handle up and down to raise it, and then you just back up with it, and you go, so, that, that wasn't really that hard, but it's just, understanding him was, like, the most difficult thing in the world, um, yeah, I mean, now, I mean, Jerry is, like, even better, because I know he's American, and... He's a lot better, he's a lot nicer guy, he doesn't make me do things like as fast, like I would probably crack under the pressure if I had to like do things really fast and I had to get him right every time. But with Jerry, it's just like, I sat at a, a table for 8 hours and packaged nuts, which wasn't hard at all. So, at least that's the first two days and I don't, I don't know what'll happen. Maybe it'll get better, maybe it'll get worse, I don't know. But uh, I think the commentary is over by now. I'm just trying to match up times, do them in my head. So thank you for watching, and leave a like. I'll see you guys next time.